Just relocating an aquarium at the moment and this thing here is a bio pellet reactor so what we want to do with this is once the tanks all up and running we want to buy some bio pellets and put a very very tiny bit in the bottom of this and then what we want to do is turn it on plug it in and there's a little controller here start with it very low then slowly turn it up until you see the bio pellets just jiggling around and what that'll do is help to over time provide a carbon source to allow the breakdown of your nitrate and even phosphate so over time if your nitrate and phosphate is starting to elevate you can slowly increase the amount of bio pellets in here but if you're running this unit it's super important that you're cleaning the skimmer twice a week because you don't want to start releasing nutrients from a bio pellet reactor and not be skimming efficiently otherwise you can create toxic situations so add a little bit of bio pellets wait a couple of weeks if your nitrate levels persist you can add a little bit more then wait a couple of weeks if your nitrate levels persist you can add a little bit more but i want you to add the nit the bio pellets into this reactor very very slowly because i don't want to go chucking in too much because if you've got bio pellets getting um releasing organic carbon and you don't have nitrate or phosphate to actually break down that night that organic carbon you can create toxic situations so you do not want to do that it's better to do it slow and then if your nitrate level falls you want to reduce the amount of bio pellets in here so once again you can control the speed going into the bio pellet reactor with this little controller and the idea is to have it so it's just rummaging around you don't want it like bouncing around too much and that's it